you guys this is the one month update on the zero to fifty thousand dollar challenge um portfolio so for those of you who do not know um, i wanted to teach people how to start a portfolio from scratch i get so many people in my academy and so many people asking me you know it's it's easy to make money once you have money but how do you start from scratch so this portfolio is 100 percent based around long-term purchases. Um, it's, it is a bit aggressive. We're gonna go over everything and what I've added to it. Um, it is aggressive because my goal is to grow from zero to $50,000 in five years. And we're putting $100 a week. You guys don't have to do that, but I'm putting $100 per week in, which means that I'm putting about $5,200 per year, um, which at the end would be about $25,000 that I put in, and I'm trying to actually grow the portfolio by 22% per year. That's why a lot of the stocks that you'll see in here are actually going to be pretty aggressive tech positions for the most part. Um, this is not how to build a solid, strong you know, portfolio for the rest of your life. This is building a growth portfolio out of companies that I plan to hold for the next five years that I feel have a really, really good potential um, you know, to give some great returns. So as you can see right here, our balance is $937. I will be doing a monthly update video. That's exactly what this is. Um, if you guys want to know exactly what I buy at the exact specific times, if you guys want to learn how I trade, how to trade options, um, literally everything about the market, I do have a private stock market academy. I'll put it down below. You get access to 55 hours of different courses and lectures from day trading, swing trading, options trading put spreads call spreads like literally every aspect of the market you also get to go live with me every morning for one hour i go over what i'm trading why i'm trading it i share all of my plays in real time um and you also get access to a discord server with 259 other students we give seven days away for free that's how confident we are i'll put that down in the description it will be the first link but let's get into this video so the first company that i added within the past month has been cisco Right now, it's only two shares, so it's really not a big position, but I actually added it most recently, and that's kind of what this video is going to be about. It's an update to what I've done, but really I wanna make this video kind of based around Cisco. So for those of you who do not know what Cisco is, they're essentially a telecommunications company. Um, they would also be, I guess, a semiconductor company because they do make chips and stuff, um, but this is a potential big play um, on 5G in the future, and they recently had earnings and had a pretty steep sell-off. Um, if we take a look at the past month, we're trading around $48, now we're trading around $42. And you can see here, they have a market cap, $177 billion. They have an EPS of $2.64, a very good PE ratio of 16 bucks. I mean, um, of 16, that's really, really good. Uh, annual dividend of 3.41%. And in the 52 week range, they're kind of right there, smack dab in the middle. Let's take a look at the income statement for this company. 2016, we have $49 billion, 17, 48 billion, 18, 49, 50. So pretty stagnant. Um, and I would say that once 5G starts really rolling out, um, this company, you should see revenue go up pretty well. Um, there really has not been, I don't wanna say it's necessarily a cyclical company, but we haven't seen a huge you know, big technological difference as far as this company would be, but 5G is going to change a lot. Let's take a look at their net operating, or I'm sorry, net income. This is very important because I say it a lot, but you want to make sure that a company is not only making more money year over year, but you want to make sure that they are actually going to be keeping more money year over year. So you see 2016, we got 10.7 billion, 9 billion, 110 million. I don't know exactly what happened that year, um 11.6 billion 11.2 so nothing drastic except for 2018 so we would have to look a little deeper into 2018 what happened overall not a bad income statement though and remember this account is not going to be like my golden account of like perfect investments this is going to be companies i think they're going to be doing really well over the next five years and companies that i think have a pretty fair valuation right now thing is there's not a lot of companies out there that have a fair valuation. I actually kind of had to force myself to buy something this week because there's not much in the market that I really want, honestly, guys. Um, but here, we'll just quickly look. Total assets is going to be $94 billion. Total liabilities, $56 billion. So in all reality, they could 
literally just pay off all their debt and all their liabilities and still have $50 billion left. That is really good. Um, if you take a look, you guys can read this whole report um, by Cisco uh, on, uh, I'm sorry, by Morningstar on Cisco on Robinhood. You just have to have the Robinhood gold. You can click like their Morningstar reports. But overall, I would definitely say take a look at this if you don't understand what the company does. Um, it's really resourceful and helpful. It'll kind of give you what the bulls are saying about it, what the bears are saying about it. Um, Cisco, in my opinion, is a great company to add to this portfolio. Um, I wouldn't say like I would put a ton of money into this company. I do think that there are better companies you could put your money in, but I think that overall they're at a fair valuation right now. This is not a company that I would be holding, I would say for like the rest of my life, if that makes sense. Um, if this company were to go up 10, 20, 30, 40% in the next month, I would probably just cut it and sell it. Um, there's not a lot of these companies here that I'd want to do that to, but Cisco is one of them. The next that I've been adding a lot to is GAN. We talked about GAN um, in the prior video. I'll put the prior video down in the description, but GAN is basically the back end to all of these sports betting companies. They took a huge hit on earnings because they released that they lost the uh, sportsbook account for FanDuel, which is pretty big. They're still doing all of the back end for their like casinos, which is bigger than their sports book, but still it's kind of a blow to them. They took a huge hit. I've been averaging down over the past couple of weeks. I only own 11 shares, but still this is a company that I'd like to really build a huge position in over the next year. Peloton, I have two Peloton. This has just been ripping. You can see here on Peloton, we're up 23% since I bought this position. That's like my goals for the year. They do have earnings coming up next week. I'm really, really, really want to see how that goes. I, I'm i skeptical because they are valued pretty, pretty ridiculously right now, I'll be honest. So if Peloton does take a fall, I kind of hope it does, I will definitely be loading up. Smile Direct Club, another great company I like, didn't have the best earnings, sold off heavy. I mean, Smile Direct Club was all the way up at $9.50, fell all the way down to about $7.20. If Smile Direct Club keeps falling, I will continue to buy. If you guys want to hear my full bullish thesis on Smile Direct Club, I did do a full video. Um, I will put that down in the description below too, and you can find it on our YouTube channel. Um, SPCE, down about 10%. This is another company that I love long term. They are for sure, for sure not a safe investment, guys. If I was like building a retirement portfolio or something, this is not what it would look like. So I really want to reiterate that. Um, SBC, I think, has huge potential in the next five years, um, but it could be like a Tesla. I wouldn't be surprised if SBCE fell down to $4 a share, right? But I also wouldn't be surprised if it was worth $150 a share within the next five years. This is definitely a gamble and a half, but I love Chamath Palikatia. I love Richard Branson. I love the you know executives over there. I think that when you first look at what the company does and what they're planning to do, it's Sounds ridiculous, but I think that when you look at those people, um, I, I really think that they can get it done, and I really think that this could be phenomenal for them. Um, let's see, SPCE, we already talked about that, Skyworks Solutions. So Skyworks Solutions, I only have one share of this. This is one of the first ones I bought. Um, you know, it's I wouldn't be buying more. Skyworks is really really up there in valuation in the next five years i don't think it's overvalued personally i think that if we're looking five years down the road especially with 5g so i really have two 5g plays in this portfolio um i don't think it's overvalued if you're looking at the next year or so this is for sure not a deal in the slightest but i really really like skyworks it was one of the first ones i bought about six percent on it and then uber i bought uber i think this was one of the originals I kept averaging down about 10% on Uber. Um, there are a lot of things that worry me about them, though. I, I am worried about this whole California situation going on where they did win the appeal, but they still have to go through it where they a lot, I feel like a lot of states are going to want to make the drivers W-2 employees. And while I think they should from a personal standpoint, it's tough from a business standpoint because their margins are already pretty bad and they're not making money. This is another one where I think that if they can do what they set out to do, if they can do what they want to do within the next five years, this could be huge for them. 
On the other hand, if things blow up in smoke, this could be a stock that's worth $9. Especially, I'm going to make a whole video on this probably a couple weeks from now. But the whole, you know, AI taxi services. Um, this is something that a lot of people are talking about. And I think that, you know, you have a lot of players in this space. You have Tesla. You have you um, Lyft. And you have Uber. If Tesla can come out before any of them and really get their taxi network up, that is going to be a huge blow to Uber and Lyft. So this is definitely a sketchier one. I am a lot less bullish on Uber than I was before, but still, I think that this could really be, you know, give some great returns over the next five years. So that is what I've been buying. I'm going to do these updates once a month. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys are buying this week or this month. Let me know if you're following along with us. Um, I would really like for all of us to have a $50,000 portfolio off of this small position. Um, I, I think that that would be amazing to grow this portfolio together over the next couple of years and see where we all are. So thank you guys for um, being here today and I'll see you next time.